Hello everyone and welcome to the Car Spectrum. Brandon here and I want to introduce this. I got a new daily driver for really cheap. It's a 2001 Monte Carlo Super Sport. It has a lot of miles. It's my daily driver though. Actually going to turn out to be more of a project car. So this video is going to be me introducing the car to the channel, opening it up, open up the hood, show you guys the interior and uh, just go from there. All right, let's get into it. All right. First, I'd like to start off by saying it is a Monte Carlo Super Sport. Um, this is not the supercharged one. I don't think the supercharged SS's actually came out until 2004 or 2003 uh, when the 3800 got the uh, little supercharger on it. Overall, the car is in okay shape. I mean, it has 187,000 miles, so there's some stuff I want to do to it. And I got it for like a daily driver, so I don't put a lot of miles on the Corvette. But also, just for the fact, um, as, as a project car, I feel like it's a fun second car, fun, fun project car in general. Right? So overall, the paint is okay. I mean, there's a few blemishes here and there. Um, but for 180, you know, 87,000 miles, I really can't complain for the price I paid for it. Super cheap. Super, super cheap. The main issue on the car body-wise is really just over here. It's got this little quarter panel dent um, you know, right by the gas tank here that I, eventually I'll take care of. Um, it's not a big deal. I'll probably get one of those paint, you know, um, the, the guys that remove the dents without, you know, messing up the paint. So I'll probably do something like that. You know, there's a little crack in the, in the um, tail light here. So it's getting a little condensation in there, but nothing too bad. And then, you know, the front headlights, I like to change those out too. It's probably till those clear ones or blacked out ones because we got a little bit of fog starting to form in them. But nothing crazy. All right, let's take you guys on the inside. Hold on one second. All right, here's the interior of the car, which overall is super clean. I just picked this up from the, uh, I got it from like kind of like a used car lot, um, but it was very, like, you know, very small used car lot. Um, but overall, the car is actually pretty clean interior-wise. Not too bad. For some reason, there's a, not a Chevy floor mat in here, but nothing too crazy. Pretty clean. Has the original stereo, original radio. That sounds okay. All right. Next, we'll, uh, we'll pop open the hood and uh, get it going for you guys and show you how it sounds. All right, guys, so here's it running. Here's the engine. Car starts right up. Sounds okay. Probably could use a tune-up, use a few things. Uh, but this is the very reliable 3800 motor, um, which, you, as you guys know, these things are basically bulletproof. I mean, if you have a Monte Carlo or a Buick Saber or a Pontiac Grand Prix, anything that came with these 3800s, these things are great. Um, you know, could use a few things. Could use a new coil over there for that new coil pack. Definitely want to change some of the spark plugs out. Um, you know, give it a whole tune-up. Um, a little rusty in there, but nothing nothing really too bad. You know, for 187,000 miles, almost, you know, almost almost 190,000 miles on it. It's actually pretty clean in here overall. Um, but I'll do a little work. I'm missing the fuse, pa uh, fuse uh, panel cap, so I'll get one of those. Uh, but overall, not too bad. Not too bad. I think it just needs a tune-up, definitely. All right, so there you guys have it. Just a quick video to introduce the car to the channel. Like I said, my daily driver. I'm just going to fix it up mechanically. Um, I'll do some of the cosmetic stuff, too. I think I'm going to keep it black, but I'm going to fix that little dent, um, you know, and do do the few cosmetic things to it. But I'm going to keep it black. I'm going to change the headlights out. Uh, maybe put some new wheels on there. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll buy like a used, not a used supercharger, but we'll buy a supercharger for it that we could slap on here and make it like the later year uh, SS's. We'll give one more overview with the car. Overall, it's pretty clean though. I'm happy with it. You know, like I said, I got it really cheap and that's kind of what brought me to it. Um, for, for the price point, uh, you know, it's not too bad. Starts right up. Haven't, you know, I've only had it for the last couple hours, but haven't had any issues with it so uh you know hopefully we stay that way but anyway this is brandon from car spectrum if you guys want to see more of the monte carlo hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hope everyone has a good day